Did you know that chemicals from food packaging, kitchenware, and food processing equipment can transfer into food? This process is called chemical migration, and it leads to low levels of chemical mixtures regularly becoming part of everybody's diet. Some of these migrating chemicals are known to have hazardous properties, and others the effects on human health are largely unknown. If you're like I was before I started working at the food packaging forum last year, maybe you knew a little bit about it. Maybe your bottled water tastes a little plasticky sometimes, or you'd heard about bisphenol A or PFAS on the news, but you never really, you know, thought about it. Luckily for both of us, for the last 10 years, the Food Packaging Forum has thought about it a lot. The safety of the food we eat affects all of us every day, which is why I'm here today to share the Food Packaging Forum as part of Project for Us in 2022. And there's actually a lot of information out there about the chemicals that are used in food packaging and production equipment, which are collectively called food contact chemicals. But the scientific information is scattered across the globe and is constantly evolving. The Food Packaging Forum works to review all that information, structure it in a meaningful way, and then communicate this knowledge and the knowledge gaps to the many different stakeholders across the entire life cycle of food contact materials. Decision makers like legislators, packaging manufacturers, consumers, recyclers, or, you know, anybody who eats. In 2020, for example, the Food Packaging Forum put together a database of all the chemicals intentionally used in food contact, because apparently nobody was sure what all was there. And they found that over 60 government and industry reports together listed over 12,000 chemicals, and those are just intentionally added chemicals on the public record. There are thousands more chemicals that may be industry secrets or that end up in food contact articles unintentionally. In the past year alone, the Food Packaging Forum has published two peer-reviewed publications, including one that demonstrates that the regulatory limits considered safe for human exposure to phthalates, which is a group of chemicals that makes plastic more flexible, may actually be set at levels that are not sufficiently protective of human health published five expert-reviewed fact sheets that summarize material properties, chemical safety, and recyclability potential of five common food contact materials. Materials like paper, plastic, and metal. The fact sheets explain why material properties influence chemical safety. And for example, even when used in the same way, containers made of glass and steel release fewer chemicals than those containers made of paper or plastic. The Food Packaging Forum is also part of a new European Union-wide collaboration investigating how microplastics affect fetal health and development, and they collaborated on a new tool that scores food serviceware made of different materials on six metrics, including plastic pollution, chemicals of concern, and greenhouse gas emissions, all to help food retailers make sustainable purchasing decisions. And those are just the highlights since I started working there 10 months ago. And we have so many more ideas for research that needs to happen, updates that should happen, tools to make, we have several more scientific publications that are expected to be published this year, a big research project in the works, data visualization tools we are testing, and educational materials we are revising. And all of this is to contribute to protecting human and environmental health. Food packaging is a huge source of plastic pollution and is a daily source of chemical exposure. Support from the Project for Awesome community would help us continue delivering high quality, evidence-based information about food packaging and health. And you can vote for us on P4A, or you can donate directly. I put all the links to the project I mentioned, more information about the Food Packaging Forum, and resources so you can learn more about lowering your exposure to food contact chemicals in the Doobly Doo. Thank you for watching, have a fantastic P4A, and don't forget to be awesome.